welcome back, and thanks for tuning in to the Made Remarkable podcast, hosted by Kelly Wynn. In today's episode, Kelly is talking with the queen of collage, Catherine Rames, to discuss the remarkable breakthroughs her business has gone through in just three years. Kat shares her experience of transforming her art business from struggling to thriving. With Kelly's guidance, consistency, and determination, she reveals the pivotal steps she took to build an online presence and scale her business, emphasizing the crucial role of a juicy lead magnet and how it catapulted her success. Check out the show notes and transcripts for more information about Kat, exclusive promotional offers, and any special links mentioned during the episode. Kelly loves connecting with listeners, so don't be shy. Reach out on social media and together let's build a community that celebrates the remarkable. If you want to be notified every time a new episode hits the airwaves, just hit that subscribe button on your favorite podcast platform. Thank you for joining us today and always remember, you are made remarkable, destined to achieve the unimaginable. Now, let's get to the good part. Introducing Kelly Wynn and Katherine Raines. Well, hello, hello. I'm Kelly Wynn, artist, author, mentor, fiercely independent mother and wife, and the founder of a multiple six-figure creative business. And I love my life, but I've been where you're at. I was slogging away at this art business thing for more than a decade. But once I finally connected with my true calling, unlocked the magic of marketing, and built a system that could scale, well, I realized I could make an impact and make a substantial income. I'm finally running a business that I love and it makes all the difference in the world. My biggest dream is to help you do the same. Let this podcast be the catalyst to your biggest success. You already have it in you because you are made remarkable. So I have Kat on the podcast and she's one of my dear friends now as well as being third time in a row a member of my league. And it is a total pleasure to be part of your league for the third year. I mean, how could I not do that? (laughs) You've changed my life over and over again. You know, I have to tell you, Kelly, that I was meeting with my website designer the other day and she said, she's so like, she can't believe how I just popped on the scene. Like all of a sudden I'm just exploding. And I went, one, I didn't just pop on the scene. Right. I've been working for like 35 years at this. But I only got traction when I started working with you. That's crazy. You know, so it, so it actually started in 2022. Is the beginning of 2022 is when we started working together, and from that point on, that's when it went on overdrive really yeah. fast. And I've been working really hard. You've been working really hard. Let's not mince words about this. It's not like it just happened magically. There was a lot of work behind it, but you getting clear about what you wanted and working towards that and staying focused has been monumental. Yeah. And I didn't, before then, I didn't know what steps to take to build an audience. You know, every time you said, okay, you need to build a five-day class, you need to get on YouTube, you need to do a weekly newsletter, all of these things I knew in my head, but I didn't really know how important they were, you know? And so once you said that, and I trust you and each one of those things, step by step, led me to really fast growth. At least to me, it's fast growth. I, I mean, I think that. going from a very small income from selling art, I mean, I'm not saying like it was nothing, but it, it was small in comparison to being able to get over the six figure, like within a year, really. Yeah. Actually, yeah, the first year with two classes, I made over six figures, yeah. And then this year will be much better. Yeah, multiples. Multiples. We're getting there. We're We're now changing also your mindset because when you started, you're like, if I could just make as much as my day job, and then you're like, okay, if I can just make six figures, if I can just, well, I guess I can make more. And now you're like, okay, League year three, we're going in for the millions. You and Drew and everyone else in the group, they're like, no more playing small, no more starving artists. It's like, let's make an impact. I love it. Yeah, you know, it's really surprising because I really thought I could, you know, working with you one year, I'd be able to do it. And I did do a lot in one year, tremendous amount. And then the second year, I did a tremendous amount more. But I realized, I I really believe it's a three-year, four-year journey to build it to the point that it's kind of really repeatable, you know, I'm hoping 
<laughs> it's not quite so much work, you know. I think I, that's the key, though. When I go into year four. Yeah. Consistency will certainly help build it faster, easier, less stress. But it's not an overnight thing. I, I absolutely agree on that. And there are building blocks that we may hear or talk about publicly or, you know, hear a podcast about. But it's like when you actually have the system all laid out for you and say, okay, this is the process you need to follow. These are the next steps. Okay, you completed that. And it wasn't like, in what I mean, will we probably like fall into a pile of mush if we tried to do it all at once. So it's got to be step by step. And it does take a process, but like being able to lay out that system and have you implement each piece along the way is how we saw the growth happen faster and faster. And then mm -hmm. doubling your launch and everything like that. Yep. And I have to keep remembering that now, you know, I have a list on my wall over here. These are the 10 projects I'm going to do this year. And I just have to take, take them one at a time. You know, I've mapped them all out, you know, what month they're going to happen in. But, you know, I always underestimate how long everything takes. So that's <laughs> a creative problem that I hear mm, very often. Whatever we think it's going to take, times it by four. Yeah. I'm just slow. It's interesting. On a little side note, Kelly, so two years ago, almost to the day, you said to me, you need to come up with a free class. And you gave me three weeks to do it because I was in your virtual art summit and I needed it done by the day that I was have my yeah. classes. So in three and a half weeks, I came up with a five day class that is still running today. And it was like, how in the world did I produce that in three and a half weeks? I have to remember that I can work fast if I'm under the gun. Yeah. But I'm already working, you know, I work full time. Yeah. And it just takes me time, you know, because I want to put quality effort into everything. It's hard for me to go faster than I am. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. the whole point of this is to run the business at your own pace and not run yourself ragged. But it was good to see you get that momentum right out the gate. And once you had the, what we like to call a juicy lead magnet out there, your list grew really fast. And it's, it continues to grow really fast because of that juicy light lead magnet. So well, it's pretty amazing. Amazing that it only takes one really good one. One really good one. Well, the other thing we implemented, and of course, anyone who wants to go back and listen to a year ago, a little over a year ago, I had you on the podcast and you were talking about the tune in Tuesdays and the regular consistency of showing up. You switched platforms, though, the first year you were doing a live video every Tuesday on Instagram. And then mm -hmm. last year, you're like, okay, I'm going to give YouTube a chance. And you started showing up every Tuesday on YouTube with a live video that you then had processed and then put up to keep up on your YouTube channel. And from zero to like how many thousands of people are already on your YouTube I have, channel? I have 17,000 subscribers on YouTube. See, in, in, it's not even been a year since you launched it. No, it's been less than a year. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, May or June, I think you started it. It was May, year. May yeah. 2nd when it started. I wish I had gone to YouTube right away, but it was so intimidating. So Instagram was a, a toe in the door. Yeah. But the videos that I do for YouTube were this, are the same that I'm doing for Instagram were the same. Yeah. It just, it just that the Instagram videos are lost. They're gone. I mean, they are on highlights, but it's almost impossible right. to find them, to watch them. So slowly I am redoing them. For YouTube because yeah. they're evergreen you know it's amazing right but, you and know it's just as a different game when you know that it can be searched it can be easily watched and it's the same amount of work well not totally it's it's more work to do YouTube but the actual demo I do a demo a week that's yeah. the same amount of work exactly but, I, but in order to promote YouTube it is it is bigger you know Instagram live you just go live and then you tell people to watch it but it only lives for the week or maybe two weeks Right. This and now you have another thing that's really cool about it, too, is you're taking that <clears throat> YouTube <Right>. channel content <laughs> and breaking it down so that you can use it as reels as well. That's true. So another cool thing happened besides being able to grow your YouTube to 17,000. You've had some viral hit reels. I actually had it was just one reel that I posted three times with big gaps in between. 
So it was a bubble, how to make papers with bubbles. And I posted it at very opportune times. And the first time it hit like 3 million, the second time it hit 6 million. Wow. And so there, there was one in between there, but it, it gave me very fast growth because this time last year, I think I had 33,000, maybe 36,000 on Instagram. I now have 106 on Instagram. I know. I and, looked at that the other day and I was like, what? And it's I've all this because for 10 years and here she's all, But it's all because of a bubble reel, you know? And I've been trying to repeat that. Like, how do you get another bubble reel? You know, like, I mean, I, I do but have some reels great in reels. general. You do consistently post reels and your reels are getting views. And just by doing that on a regular basis, that continues to help grow your it does. following. But the key is that those followers then need to be converted to leads, which a lot of people don't know that word in the art industry. A lead is somebody who has the potential to be a customer and you can actually contact them through your list. You have their name and their email and you have your collage kickstart. That was the free course we were talking about, the juicy lead magnet. And that's always going out. Plus you're using many chat to get people to say, yes, I'm interested in the free guide. Plus you show up in their inbox occasionally and be like, hey, by the way, I just want to make sure you know that this option is here. <laughs> so you're really doing the legwork to build the email list, which started at, at a, what was the starting point of that email list? Less than a when, I, when I started with you, I was under 2000, which yeah. I thought was amazing that I was at 2000. And now I'm at, I'm, I'm approaching 17,000. Yeah. On your email list. In two years. Yeah. Yeah. It's See, pretty amazing. So that's incredible. And that was until just recently, not even with ads. Right. I just started doing ads. That's right. It was all without ads. Yeah. So that's yep. that's a key in the third year. We got to get to the ad growth too, putting our money back into marketing and ads. Yeah, the ads you with a with a juicy leads magnet is like, okay, now we're talking. Because you know, it it's the same lead magnet I had two years ago. Yeah. Yet I'm reaching a, a much faster audience than I had before. So that's pretty cool. I love it. I me love too. it. That's, so, so Kelly, thank you for doing that for me, with me, in partnership with me, because all of those things wouldn't have happened. You know, I always say to you, Kelly, that um, talking to you kind of puts fire under me every single, and by the way, every time, this is including the very last time we met. And I have to like calm myself down. It's okay. You don't have to do it all right now. But it does, it does push me forward really fast. You know, I have to keep modulating because I can't do it all at the same time. I love all the ideas and I think they're all possible, but I also want to live a sane life. Right. Uh, well, I mean, and I'm I, doing, I, I'm pretty much, I, what I always say to you is that whatever you tell me to do, it's what I'm going to do. And I, because I, I do it, that's what's, ha this is what's happened. You and know? I am encouraging you to do it at a sane pace. I promise. But we I do need that forward thinking. And that's what's really cool about getting into these like cool little masterminds of groups with the league and our, our coaching program is we are able to actually take everybody to a higher level because we've got the power of all of us together. So the education that I've been working on with you and Drew and then the league in the second year and now moving into the third year is exactly what I put in Build It Remarkable, which is the accelerated version without like the high end touch of coaching, but it's all the information and it's more accessible for those who don't have the budget for the uh, mastermind. What would you say are some of the best takeaways that you've had from the education that you've learned? Some of the systems, the marketing and such. I think the, the biggest thing I got out of every year that I've worked with you, but kind of like culminates with now is that this is not a one-year process. Building an art business is multi-years. And I honestly didn't believe that every year. So the first year I worked with you, I was thinking, hey, I have it. Second year, I thought, okay, I've got it. But there's so many steps to making an art business so that it's completely sustainable, that it's a long-term gig, you know? And as you said, there are many steps. I didn't take them all at the same time. Each one was in bite-sized pieces with your encouragement. You said, okay, this is the first thing. 
And like for me, the first thing really was getting a juicy lead magnet. And I'd had lead magnets before, but it wasn't enticing. They weren't right. something that people were like, oh my God, I have to have this. And basically my lead magnet is something that I could charge for. I know I, know I could because people love it, but it does get people to know who I am. And they, then they trust me. What's that whole thing that no trust like thing, you know, that once they see, oh, she is going to produce something good. And if I pay her for something, it'll be that quality. And I, I just and it didn't had know to that. be juicy. It had to be juicy. And I didn't know what juicy was right. until you told me to make a class in three and a half weeks. It's like, <laughs> okay. No, now, I'm not that tough on everybody who comes through my programs. I know we all have different paces, but I also feel like sometimes people sit and wait a little too long to take that next step that they need to step. At, yes. That they need to take. But I love that you've been proactive the whole way through. And there have been times where whether it's health or scheduling or travel has like slowed you down a little, it never stopped you. And you continue to grow year after year. And I love seeing where you're going to go to the next time too, right? So that's just, to me, it's really exciting to see your growth and know that these ideas, the things that I've been through, that I've processed, I've grown my business with, when put into systems, really mm -hmm. work for other people as well. Yeah. And it's interesting just working with you, whether it's made remarkable or build it, I mean, it's the same system. Yeah. Is that when you say something, because you have walked the walk, you say it and I believe you. <laughs> Honestly, well, I mean, you. whenever you tell me to do, I just trust it's a thing to do and I do it. And I don't need anyone to hold me accountable, you know, because I have the hardest boss there is. It's me. <laughs> I just need someone to say, this is the next step. Okay, do that one. Okay, here's the next step. So I just don't know the steps to get to where I want to go. I don't want to be a starving artist. And for the first time, you know, uh, the last year, I can say that I'm an abundant artist. But You're before awesome. that, I was making peanuts. I definitely could not sustain on what I was making before. Yeah, and all the years that I was working hard at selling my art, I never came close to the kind of income I made from doing online digital products courses and coaching and and summits and all the other things that I've worked on. I found that... It was so much more, I don't know what the right word is, just the income that you can make off of a, a something that you do once and you can sell over and over again. Yes, there's still always marketing involved, but it's not the same as creating a painting and selling a painting and trying to make the six figures off of doing that. I believe people can, but mm -hmm. there's far fewer people who can make that six figures off of painting and selling art than all the other creative things that we can put together and think outside of the box, which is yeah. what I'm most passionate about thinking outside of the box. And what was really cool was as we grew the first year it was four of us. The second year we had 18 and everyone was like, but how's this going to work if we're all doing the same thing? And it was not long before everyone was like, everyone's doing something different. We all have a different point of view, a different way of building our business, a different angle that we're taking and it looked it just looked different for each of us and there was room mm -hmm. for everyone to grow right we all had we were working on a same kind of business model but our art is different how we take it is different our juicy lead magnets were all different we're hitting different markets you know we have different people that are attracted to who we are and exactly. what we do so yeah yeah so if you could give any advice to those listening who are thinking about if they're on the fence, is this for them? What would you have to say? I would say personally, I wish I had done what I did with you five years ago, 10 years ago. I wish I hadn't waited so long. I was so intimidated by the idea of putting money into any kind of coaching. And I had done it before, but doing the build it model just propels you so much faster, you know? So the investment is very, very small compared to what you can get on the on the other end. Because, you know, I, I was just talking to an artist yesterday and she said, she knows what to do. Like she really does know what to do, but she's not doing it. 
but being in a system where you are being led down a path, like here's step one, here's step two, here's step three. There's just something magical about that. And you're working with other people. There's a community of people all supporting each other to do that. If you want to be an abundant artist and not a starving artist, there are many, many routes to take, but this is a really viable one. And I probably decided like three years ago, right before I started working with you, that I would rather teach people how I do my art than sell my art. I make a bigger impact in the world by showing you how to do it, make it your own, rather than having, you know, one-offs people selling, you know, selling my art. One day I probably will sell my art again, Yeah, but that will just be a side thing, you know, teaching art. I never thought I was going to be an art teacher that was never on my radar, but it doesn't feel like I'm an art teacher. It feels like I'm, a, I'm an art motivator. I'm an artist. I love that description. So one thing with clarity, like I don't actually teach people how to film, record, or create the course itself. I really focus on how to, the building blocks of building a business, your marketing, your message, how you do a launch, how you get the sales. That's the part, the engine behind the whole system is what I like to work on. How do you see, other than the fact that you know, I am for artists and I teach marketing skills. How do you see me and my program, the Build It system that I've created different from the other programs you've taken? Because you have taken other business courses specifically geared towards artists. Build is different because what you're teaching is how to build an online presence and then sell that presence through some kind of course. Whereas the other thing, other courses I had taken on art business were really about selling art. It's a very different kind of thing. And even though I followed everything that those, I had two other courses, the other courses taught me to do, I still wasn't making a living. You know, I was launching collections of art in a very sophisticated way. And I sold a lot of art and I still couldn't make a living. So the difference is there's so many routes to make a living as an artist. And selling how to do art is a viable option. And that to me is what you teach. You know, how do you actually turn what you do into teaching other people how to do what you do and scale it? Right. The marketing skills behind how you build an, an actual business and not just here's how you sell your art. I really wanted right. to differentiate that. It's the building blocks for a business. And forgive me because this isn't putting down any other program. There are really some lovely programs out there, but it's a lot more than how do you take some nice pictures and design your website? That's mm -hmm. not what my program's about. My program's really about who is this for? How are you going to get the message out there? How are you going to build that list? How are you going to grow your audience? How are you going to launch it and sell it and have people say yes? Because you hit all of the right keywords, the right emotional connections, whatever it is that's needed. It's a whole different way of running a business than it is mm -hmm. of building an Etsy shop, for example. And right. that's a huge shift from where most people as artists think that's the route they're going to go when they finally realize that, no, I don't just want to be an artist who sells something. I want to create a business, right? A business that's scalable. You know, that's an unlimited amount of people could actually buy what you're offering. Because when you sell art, you're kind of a factory. You have to keep producing art, which by the way, I love producing art. That's why I'm an artist. But it's hard to make enough art. To, at the right price point. At the right price point. And eventually, you know, maybe that will be a route I take down the road. I see myself making a lot more art. But in this season of my life, building a business is art. It's incredible, juicy art. Everything I'm doing, what you just said is, I think the biggest thing I didn't realize three years ago is, you know, people always say you have to have a newsletter and build an audience. I had no idea what it meant to build an audience. You know, the first time you said you need to go live on Instagram so people know who you are, I thought you were nuts. And I also knew it was true. <laughs> because I'm a little bit nuts. A little nuts. Well, because it was scary. That's a scary thing to do. But, you know, what, what you do and build it is you break it down into pieces. 
like, okay, here's the first piece. Here's the second piece. So it's not like you just like thrown out to the wolves. At least it wasn't for me. You know, I felt no. very, it was very systematic and doable. And here you are. I'm and so here I am. incredibly happy for you too. So mm -hmm. if anyone doesn't know who Kat Rains is, by all means, go find her on Instagram and YouTube. You go by Cat Rains on your Instagram? Yep. YouTube and Instagram are the same thing. Cat Rains dot artist. Dot artist. So if you aren't following her, then it's time. It's time. And yeah. you are a collage master and you give very generously all year long. And you have one gorgeous signature course that launches at the beginning of every year, plus a couple other little surprises mm -hmm. coming along this year yep. for other more bite-sized courses that people can enjoy from you. So. Indeed. And I would love people to take my free class, yep. Collage Kickstart. I mean, that's, all, that's always available. We'll put that link in the bio and in the emails and everything else to make sure people know. And I'm just so glad I get another year with you, Kat. Yay, me too. And we'll talk to you soon. Very soon. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs>